Rose 5. It's Comics Unleashed Hot Chocolate with your host, Byron Allen. Tonight, Byron welcomes Kareem Matthews. Godfrey. Kiwi Rogers. And Gina Yashere. And now, he swears he has no idea how that stuff got into his browsing history. Byron Allen! Yes, thank you. Welcome to Comics Unleashed Hot Chocolate. Where the comedians go wild. Are you guys ready to go wild? Alright, say hello to my man DJ A1. Alright, we have some funny people here. Kareem Matthews, Godfrey, T.B. Rogers, and Gina Yasharev. Yeah, well, before we get started, man, where'd you get that afro? Oh, man, this is, this is all me. You this brought that natural. back from the 70s. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you like that, huh, Byron? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, like this. Uh, so I'm going to keep it perfect. It's how you sleep. Well, yeah, yeah, high maintenance, man. High maintenance. High maintenance. Yeah, yeah. lay down. I mean, I'm not sleep That's like it. this. Exactly. See? I like this. Dude, Dude you bringing it back, man. Trying to, yeah. man. So you bring it to fast food? Yeah, man. You know, bachelors, we always eat now. Yeah. I just hate going to the ghetto drive throughs though. Why? They always seem, like, confused when you place an order. <laughs> and they, they always want to hit you with a... Can you pull over and park? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, man, this is not a neighborhood you're really trying to pull over and park in. <laughs> so, Gina, you're from England? Yeah, I was born and raised in London, England. I know people look at me funny. They don't even know that there's black people in England. They're like, what? <laughs> we are everywhere, people, everywhere. <laughs> But, that, but that, that, that's the thing, I mean, my accent confuses people, like, because they don't realise there's black people in England. So the accent, when I talk, people are like, what is she, an Aborigine or something? I'm like, no, I'm English. But I tell you what, though, the accent comes in useful. For instance, I reckon I'm the only black person in America who's not afraid of the police, I tell you that. Yeah, in fact, I pull the police over. I do. I do. I did it a couple of weeks ago. I was like, excuse me, officer, um... I can't help but notice you've been following me for eight miles. Uh -huh. The accent confused him, right? Confused him. He was like that. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I thought you were black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just got a divorce? Yeah, man. Let me tell you something. Tell us, brother. Divorce ain't no joke. <laughs> All you fellas out there, I messed up because I married myself a career woman. And watch out, because that's all that means is she don't do a damn thing at home. Mm. I ain't lying. I wore the panties in that house. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't lying, man. I did the cooking. I did the cleaning. Right? I got the results of my physical. Doctor said my pap smear was abnormal. <laughs> that ain't funny. I think it was a stress. And, <laughs> and more than that, she was a psychologist. So, yeah, uh, any yeah. fellow in here thinks you've got a tough time arguing with your woman, you better think again. <laughs> I ain't lying. Only time I used to argue with my ex is when she wasn't around. <laughs> guess what? I still only had a 50-50 chance of winning. <laughs> she had me messed up up here. I was in the grocery store one day by myself, right, walking down the aisle, and I just yelled out, well, why didn't you make up the bed? You were the last one in it. <laughs> And some dude carrying a box of tampons whispers in my ear, you tell her. What was your dad like? like? I, my dad was one of those I make it for you dads. <laughs> Everything I got, homemade, right down to my Schlitz malt liquor beer can walkie talkie. <laughs> 
<laughs> she do. We went to school. Everybody had lunch pairs with your favorite cartoon character. I wanted a lunch pair. And I said, Daddy, will you buy me a lunch pair for school? He went, buy. I'll make you a damn lunch pair. <laughs> <laughs> my lunch pair, empty loaf of bread bag. Yeah, that was me walking, twirling my lunch around <laughs> with nothing in it but a bologna sandwich. And not the pre-sliced bologna. He bought that big log of bologna. Oh, yeah. Got the knife and hacked off a hunk of meat. My sandwich was fat on one side and skinny on the other side. Yeah. Nothing on it. Nothing on it. I'm like, Daddy, can I at least get some mayo? He said, yeah, man, your last bite be as good as your first. <laughs> <laughs> she, she talks, baby. She talks. That ain't it. That ain't even it. That ain't it. That ain't it. That ain't it. Wait, dog. Remember the Christmas? Everybody got roller skates? I went to my father and said, Daddy, will you buy me some roller skates for Christmas? Bye. <laughs> I'll make you some damn roller skates. <laughs> Christmas morning, I wake up homemade roller skates made out of platform shoes. <laughs> Oh no, didn't get real skate wheels, cut some gold wheels off an old couch. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Oh. Easy to spot me. I was the one skating down the street just spinning. <laughs> so you've been listening to a lot of music? Yeah, lot. you know what? Music's so whack right now. I still watch, I listen to the old stuff still, man. You know what I'm saying? Even when I, I bought a CD the other day. You know, the hip hop CDs, man, I'm like, got 30 songs on there, for real? 30 songs, and they talk too much, man. Get to the song, man. At the beginning, he's like, yo, man. <laughs> You're like, listen, okay, what? <laughs> yo. Yo, these fools <laughs> <food. laughs> thought I wasn't coming back, yo. <laughs> You're like, this is your first album. You know? <laughs> You coming back from the bathroom or what? And then you're like, man, this is bull, man. Song number two, like I was saying. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back with more comments. Don't go away.